Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of scatter plots, specifically how we can describe them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got two basic scatter plots here on the screen. We're going to start with uh, what we're probably going to see most often in the 8th grade, and this, these are going to be linear scatter plots. So really what you're doing is you're looking for a trend line, and it needs to be a straight line. Now obviously it's never going to be perfect, but as you can see on this uh, scatter plot on the left, we actually have a pretty straight line that runs close to the origin, even though my, my y-axis doesn't go down to zero, so you can see it would extend down there, uh, and all the way up to the top corner, and it makes sense. So this is a scatter plot that relates the size in carrots, so we're dealing with diamonds right here. So that's the quality of the diamond and its price. And that makes sense that the higher the carrots, the more it's going to cost because that's going to be a higher quality diamond. So we can say this is a linear equation, but we can also say it has a positive correlation. That means as the x goes up, the y goes up. So that is a positive correlation because it trends to the top right. Now, take a look at what we have over here. Uh, we've got another linear equation, right? We do have a few outliers here, but for the most part, we have a pretty linear relationship here. It's a straight line, but look, it's latitude, right? So what this means is we are talking about, so zero lati latitude right there, that's going to be the equator. So we're talking about the globe, and we're talking about how hot it is in January. So it makes sense. If you're right here on the equator, you're going to have the highest temperature because that's the hottest part of the Earth. And as you increase your latitude, you're getting farther and farther away, and you're actually getting closer to the North and South Pole, your temperature is decreasing. So it is another linear equation, but it has a negative relationship. So that means as the x increases, the y decreases. So those are linear scatter plots or linear relationships on scatter plots. Let's look at a few different examples. So with these two, you still see an association here. So this one on the left doesn't have any labels here, so we're not sure exactly what it's mapping. But you can see a line just moving like this. It goes up and down kind of like a wave. And so you can see a relationship, but it's nonlinear because it's not a straight line. But you can't say that it is no association. We'll get to that next because there is a line. So this is going to be, if we were to uh, use an equation for this, this would definitely have some polynomials. That means we're going to be squaring, we're going to be cubing, we're going to be using lots of exponents. Now take a look at this one, jawbone length and age. So this is the jawbone length of probably an animal. And it makes sense that as you get, as you grow, it's going to shoot up really quick. But then it kind of flattens out. So it's kind of a curved line like this. You don't keep growing jawbone. Once you get to about 20, you notice your jawbone just kind of stays the same. So this is also a nonlinear relationship. But there is an association that as your uh, age increases, your jawbone length increases until you get to about 20, then it flattens out. So that is a non-linear relationship. The last one is going to be pretty obvious. It's no association. So the no association scatter plots are usually pretty easy to see simply because there's no line. Even those last two had a line, though they were curved, so they were nonlinear, but they had some type of association or trend line that you could see. This is just no association. It looks like someone just dumped some dots on the top of a graph. And take a look at the X and Y. So the X shows how many new chicken eggs are on a farm, and trying to relate that with the amount of ice cream sold. Yet yeah, those two don't have anything to do with each other. Chicken eggs and ice cream don't go together. That's why your dots are all over the place. So this is a scatter plot that has no association or no relationship between the X and the Y axes.